Hi my friends! Thank you again for coming back for your learning today. I'm going to teach you about a silly thing called a schwa sound. Now schwa is fun to say and it's also fun to look at. So the way that we spell schwa is this way. S-C-H-W-A. Schwa. And a schwa is a type of a vowel sound, okay? So, so far we have learned that our vowels have two sounds. We have a and a. We have a and u. We have a and o. A and e. And i and i. Okay? Let me tell you some crazy stuff, my friends. Sometimes these vowels, they get feeling pretty lazy and tired, and instead of saying the name that they're supposed to say, they actually steal their sound from a friend. Can you believe that? So these vowels, yes, we know that they say two sounds, but sometimes they can even say a third sound. And let me give you some examples, okay? So behind me, you'll notice I drew some schwa letters. We have the letter A, and A in a short sound typically says ah. But my friends, if we have a schwa A, it can say uh, and it can say ah. Uh, what? So let's look at some of these words. We have the word again, and it starts with the letter A. And if we read that like stretchy snake, we would have again. But it's not again, it's again. So sometimes we just have to try different vowel sounds if the sound is not working. A and A did not work for again. So I'll plug in a uh, and see if that works. Again. It does work, okay? Then we have this word here, about. About doesn't make sense. Let's try this sound. About? No, that doesn't make sense either. What about this sound? Uh. About. About is a word that we do know. Okay, so notice how I just had to change my sound for the letter A and it made sense for me. Okay, another word, water, has the A in the middle of it. And, and it can also be a schwa. So a schwa can be at the beginning, the middle, and it can also come at the end, okay? So when you're stretching out your words and you notice that the vowel sounds are not making sense, try a different vowel sound, okay? The most common schwa sound that we will have is a. Uh. Most vowels love to steal the short U sound, a. Uh. So that's the sound that I would try first. If it still doesn't make sense, try another vowel sound like a eh or ah, okay? Here we have our letter E that typically would say a. Eh. But when E is feeling like a schwa and feeling lazy, it will say a. Uh, like in the word the. We have the, uh. The E is a schwa in the word the. Now here I have the word camel, like a like the animal camel. We have k a m a o camel. Notice how the e stole that schwa sound and it said a uh, for camel. All right. Lastly, we have the letter o, one of our vowels that usually says ah. Uh, but when O is feeling so lazy and silly, it will steal the A uh sound from the short U. So like in the word other, it starts with an O, which we think would normally say ah. Uh, but if we stretch that out, other, we get a different word, author. And that word is spelled differently, okay? So my friends, my tip for you is when you're reading your words and you're not quite sure what the vowel is supposed to say, try to plug in all the different vowel sounds and see if that vowel is feeling like a schwa, okay?
All right, I can't wait to see all the different schwas that you start noticing when you're reading, okay? Thanks, my friends. See you next time.